OK, it is now time for Barrage the Farage, where you send your questions in. And I can assure you that my guest, Sir Christopher, is here to help me if I get into any very deep trouble. John asks, now that we are no longer part of the European Union, why are we still paying VAT? Well, you're right, actually, because VAT was introduced to bring us into line with the common market, the EEC, as it was known. Um, prior to that, we had sales tax. Uh, there is an argument... There is an argument for getting rid of VAT. Uh, it is a system that is riddled with fraud. Um, I suspect that this government at the moment has other economic priorities. Adrian asks, why didn't the West act against Putin when he started poisoning people on UK soil? What do you make of that, Christopher? Well, I think a lot of us are saying to each other, why didn't we take a tougher line generally with Putin much earlier on? in his tenure of power, because he started to do things which were really totally intolerable. Georgia, South Ossetia. You've got Georgia and South Ossetia, you've yeah. got all that stuff. You've got Crimea in 2014, and we yeah. left it to the German. This is before we... A lot of people think we have no role in diplomacy over the Crimea, uh, because the Germans and the French are taking the lead, but they took the lead before we left the European Union. The other thing, of course, which we should have been... I think we were quite tough, but we could have been even tougher. Yeah. Is Litvinenko, his assassination. Yeah, well, that's the, that's Skripal, his near assassination. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would have chucked out the Russian ambassador and told him to stay away for, us, you know, for a long time. Are. He may be in his 70s. He's pitching for a career in politics next, I can just tell. Camilla, <laughs> as Putin has shown himself a liar to the world and being responsible for a disastrous war, how do you think he sees his future? I would think right now he's pretty depressed about his future, isn't he? Yeah, I would think he's... His natural reaction to setbacks is to double down. Mm. And I think this long-range artillery and aircraft bombardment of civilian uh, quarters in, in the cities is a precise example of this, that terrorises the civilian population, which then undermines the morale of the Ukrainian army. He yeah. hopes. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, uh, uh, does he feel that he's got his back to the wall, as Joe Biden said? Uh, I don't know. He may be deranged. I don't know. Difficult, isn't it? But he's, he's getting desperate. Absolutely. Yeah, very difficult. Right, a couple of quickies. Who's your favourite actor? I love Michael Caine, Harry Palmer, the spy films, the Cold War. Favourite actor, Christopher? I'll go Michael Caine any day. Michael Caine any day. We've got a few seconds left. With the recent proposals by the Scottish Government on a new hunting bill, will traditional game shooting exist for the next generation to enjoy? I hope and pray that it will, but I wonder. I really wonder. Any thoughts? Uh, I hope it will. I don't shoot game myself, but I hope others will be able to. Freedom of the right to choose. That's the greatness of our country. At least it should be.